Luma Labs has upped its game with Ray 2. But before I show you some examples, let me show you where they were. About six or seven months ago, I had Luma Labs create this image, which is low quality, a bunch of chaos, and basically it had to do with the stock market. And as you can see, it, it was certainly good at the time, believe it or not. It was interesting at the time. It was not long after we heard a lot of talk about Sora and the demonstrations, but this is what was available. But then they upped their game a little bit more. And this was an example of a city scene that I did a little bit later, and I think it's under the same model. This is an updated model that I was using for my husky scenes. As we know, I often use a husky running through a daisy field as an example prompt when I'm comparing different platforms. As you can see, there are still some issues with the model as of two months ago, but it continued to get better over time. And even this was just a few days ago, but you can see that they often had issues with hands. You could see that in the pause of the Husky. And this is the prompt that we're using to compare. Unfortunately, this is all I'm getting with Ray 2 after a couple days. Ah, here we go. Breaking in, we did finally get a Ray 2 version. And so I may mention in the rest of the video that I had nothing to compare it to, but we actually do. So I do want to know your opinion in the comments, the difference between Ray and the nice natural motion. And I think it hits the mark for the most part. I would like to see more of the model's face, but that was not a requirement as you will see in other variations from other models. So Ray 2 is looking really good. Look at the motion of these example videos, but not just the motion, that they're more real time. You may notice with a lot of the platforms, everything seems to be in slow motion. Well, that's not the case, it seems to be, with the Ray videos. Let's take a look at people, though, because that's what we're going to compare today. Oh, look at the little kitten on a finger. So going down, there is actually a physics simulation. That's pretty cool. Continuing to photorealism. Cinematic scenes. People and expressions. So this is where we're going to compare. And this looks great. Again, the movement, the people, the details. Comparing our models that we're going to see, like the one in the green dress, to these models here. So in comparison of where the other video models are, let's look again at how they handle a model with purple hair with a green dress walking down a mountain path. Looking at Sora with our female with purple hair, well... The walking isn't that good. Uh, the scene is fine. The purple hair, the blue dress, all work. But yeah, there's some issues here. Here's Runway, very similar to Sora, except a little bit slower and we don't see a face. Of course, we said walking down a mountain, so that very well could be interpreted as walking away from the camera. Not bad from Hyloa. This is one I've not reviewed very much. And I certainly didn't indicate the skin tone of the model or anything else. So this one is actually coming towards us, this model. And it really is, I think, well done. Um, I think very creative and a very nice look and action. Using Hanyan. I'm not sure, I know I didn't pronounce that right, but I thought I would give it a try and see how it produced. And it says it's a fast, high quality model, and I don't think it's too bad. And for those who don't know, Crea AI, C R E A dot AI is where it's located, is a location where you can try out and use multiple models in one location. Here's Kling's newest model, 1.6, and yeah, I think this does a great job. Certainly fulfilled the prompt. It's a model walking away 
from the camera, but I think the scene is very nice and certainly an excellent clip. So what do you think of Ray 2 compared to other models? Obviously, we don't have a direct comparison, but we can compare people in motion in this video. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next video. And of course, the podcast is every Monday on YouTube or your favorite podcast station where we're two creative guys talking AI.